Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. Another forbidden and limited list has come around, and I do expect this one to be a bit bigger for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, and that is mostly because of worlds. I do expect more heavily or bigger ban lists uh, for worlds, so there you go. Um, yeah, let's just hop into this. I don't really know too much what I'm expecting. I'm expecting hits to tier, sprite, maybe branded, but I doubt branded, um, and maybe Dragon Link. Um, but definitely Tyr and Sprite. Hopefully some Exo Sister. No one likes that deck. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's hop into this. Um, cards to be forbidden. <gasps> oh, okay, 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 okay. Some really good ones. Some kind of mid ones. Okay, one mid one. Um, I, okay, sorry, hold on. First things first, Rongo Nimiad. 10 out of 10. Incredible ban. Bish Balkan. 10 out of 10. Incredible ban. Block Dragon. You're a bit late, Konami. You're really late, Konami. Um, you're also late on Rongo Nimiad, but that's fine. But yes, fantastic. These are only used in bad, annoying strategies. So I will not uh, be sad to see these go. Agito is actually banned. Yes. Now, now here's the thing. This doesn't matter if Kelbeck is not also limited, which I imagine Kelbeck is. I did, I did predict that. I wasn't, I was kind of, I did say either Agito or Mudora um, could be banned, but I wasn't expecting actually any bans. And Merle, I actually don't like banning any of the actual tier names. And the reason for that is because it really does bring the power level down, but I do like a hard limit on all of them. I think that that's fine. Obviously, they're not going to do that because Rhino Heart and Sheeran are both URs, so they're not going to hit any of those any more than they need to. So I guess this is fine, but I really don't like this hit. I think Merle is a fantastic card for that archetype, um, but it does it does mean that you basically can't use the Sprite Engine with the tiers, which I think is fine. I think it's a good hit, but I I personally love tier and I could deal with six more months of tier, but I know that a lot of other people don't. So again, good hit. Overall, happy. Uh, Merle, I, I, again, I would have preferred to see that go to one uh, similar to how it is in the TCG, but overall, fantastic hits. Love seeing a Guido banned. Um, <laughs> honestly, great list so far. Now this is where I'm expecting a terrible list to show up. Uh, limited cards, let's, let's scroll down. Cards to be limited. Okay, okay. Branded Fusion. Why? Grass should be banned, but okay. Kelbeck, good. Sprite Jet, okay. And Swap Frog, um, sure. Uh, this actually doesn't touch the uh, Runic for Hired Sprite deck that I uh, have recently been playing, which I like. Uh, I'm I'm very much a fan of that outcome. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. This is a good hit over, again, a bunch of good hits. Uh, Sprite does need a hit. I don't like hitting Swap Frog, though. I don't know why we're hitting Swap Frog instead of the actual, like, Sprite names. Um, but I guess they really, really don't want to touch Elf. Dear Lanta, just limit that card and then ban it, please. It's, we know, we know it's a problem. Stop skirting around the problems. Stop skirting around the issues. Stop making the cards that you need to ban URs as well. Like, there's no, there's no reason for that. Um... I'm not expecting any unlimits, but let's see what they say my limited. Overall, I don't really have anything to say about the limitations. Why is Branded Fusion limited? Grass should be banned, and uh, other than that, I think it's fine. Um, I don't know. Branded Fusion is... I just don't like hitting Branded Fusion. I feel like that's never really the issue, and limiting the consistency at which Branded gets Branded Fusion doesn't really do much. Also, no maxi ban, no maxi limit. Like, come on. We know that that is the problem. You're hitting good cards. You're hitting cards that are very clearly problematic, and you're not hitting the 91% play rate card in Maxi. This just seems like a joke. Unless it's semi-limited for some reason, and they didn't immediately ban it, um, or limit it, which is hopefully possible, but I doubt it. Um, I'm just, you know, hey, we identified most of the problematic cards. Where's the actual one? Moving on to semi limitations. Oh. Pot of extra to two. Sure. I don't hate that. 
but this is another <laughs> this is another hit to flu um dear lanta flu cannot catch a break they really do not like flunder um i do think that pot of extra is pretty good um but like honestly i don't care whatever it, putting a card to two doesn't really do anything blaster ruler of infernos going to two uh, I guess I don't know what this changes like you we still don't really have a critical mass so I think at two I think blaster is fine maybe at three it becomes a little bit iffy because then dragon link could actually start playing blaster and having it actually be useful um but I don't know how likely that is this is actually weird there hasn't been a hit there actually just isn't a hit to dragon link so dragon link is just the best deck cool great fantastic uh so yeah um sprite's still good tier is still good cash tira doesn't exist let's be honest um dragon link might be the best i still think it's sprite actually i think it's just a different variant of sprite and more specifically like the runic fur hire variant um rather than anything else because like everything else got hit with the swap frog and sprite jet hit except for that version specifically i think tier is still playable even with the Kelbeck out one like that doesn't matter too much the agito ban and the Kelbeck at one means that you're losing two of the mills but you're not losing much else um in terms of like what you can actually play so i still think it's fine uh you still have the ability to like foolish burial for Kelbeck or like um a normal summon your uh your diviner to go for Kelbeck. so i really don't think that that deck is dead i do think that it's not the best deck anymore because i do think dragon link is just better it's it's just better now um i i would probably say dragon link is maybe the best deck but let's see about the unlimit uh ancient fairy dragon sure gears to the orcus mech knight sure and nadir servant sure um all of these change literally nothing uh gears to, it turns out orcus um is no longer good yeah turns out orcus just uh doesn't do anything anymore uh and the main reason for this is because it just isn't fast enough um being able to set up a counter trap Omni negates with a potential reborn of Dingirsu is nice, but that's about it. Um, the deck doesn't really do enough at the moment, so I think Orcus is fine. Ancient Fairy Dragon, I don't know what you could use this in, and with the hard once per turn on both of its effects, I do think that that is fine. Um, so the difference between one and three is negligible, so yeah, that can go to three. Nadir Servant should have been at three, like, on release. There was no reason for that card to be ever limited. Um, I really don't understand that one, uh, but OCG ban lists. So, all in all, um, it's a good list. It's not perfect, uh, for sure. I, do, I again, I, I would have rather have seen another card limited rather than Merly just be banned. Like, limit Havness. Or ban Havness. Why is Havness not the one that's banned? That should absolutely have been the one that's banned. But all in all, I, th I still think it's fine. Uh, even without, even without Merly, even without the uh, the Agito, and with only one Kelbeck, I still think Tier is playable. Uh, definitely big hit though. Only having the only having two of the fusion names. Um, so there's that. All in all, though, I think it's fine. Uh, pretty good list, all things considered. It hits a lot of the top decks without really making them entirely unplayable. As I mentioned previously, tier is still playable. Sprite is still good and probably still the best deck. Um, but does shake up the meta. I don't know what would be meta now specifically other than like Dragon Link. Because like Ad Emancipator also got hit. Let me actually check what would be legal real quick all right uh so here we have ourselves uh tier is probably not going to be the same uh dragon link is up there sprite is probably up there just a different build sword sultani labyrinth didn't receive a hit which i kind of expected uh so labyrinth may be very good but i don't expect it to ever be the best deck um similarly to the way that branded specifically works as you can see branded's not even like a top deck i mean it's it, it's decent but it's you know. anyway um Similar to how Branded works, if people are prepared for it, it doesn't really do very well. Um, so I don't think Labyrinth is going to be, like, the definitive best deck. I think it'll be, like, second best. Um, I think it's probably Dragon Link, Sprite, Labyrinth, Sword Soul, in that order. Uh, yeah, so overall, my thoughts on the list is that it's, uh, it's pretty good.
Um, definitely hitting things like Rongo Nimiad and Bish Balkan and Block Dragon are very nice. Uh, the hits to, more specifically, the uh, the Ashizu stuff. Actually banning Agito is very, very nice. So I'm very glad that they did that. Um, I would have liked to have seen a Shuffler or both of them on this list as well. I think that the Shufflers are also problematic, but at the very least, I think that this is a step in the right direction and definitely hitting the Ashizu cards is correct. Um, it, not killing tier elements, I think, is great. That means you can still play it, but it's definitely not the best deck anymore. Um, I'd be very surprised if it was, especially since Dragon Link is so very good against tier. It would mean, like, there there would have to be some crazy build that uh, that shows up. I mean, you could obviously just play, like, the dangers in, in, uh, in these spots. Like, uh, for example, the Nessie. Uh, Nessie kind of does a lot there. Uh, you could also just, like, play polymerization and uh, maybe something else um you branded tier might still be a very viable deck um just because like everything is limited there and you might be able to just squish a deck together and make it work uh, but all in all i do think that they are definitely not as good and uh that that's the big takeaway um sprite receives uh a hit but that just means they're going to pivot to a different deck or a different build um and then Dragon Link really came out on top on the, it, with this ban list. This is a crazy good ban list for them. Um, yeah, nothing really else to say. So, good ban list. Those, those are my thoughts. Anyway, if that's going to or that's going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy it. If you did, I'd like this very much. So appreciate it. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh!, then just be sure to subscribe. And anyway, we thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye. Shout out to the Frost Guard, my members. Thank you guys so much for the support. I hope you enjoy the content.